Hi, this is Algebra 2, Lesson 4. We're going to talk about the distributive property, solutions of equations, and change sides, change signs. We're starting on page 34. The distributive property. When we are multiplying a number times a quantity, we multiply this through. So first we multiply the 3 times the 4, and then we multiply the 3 times the 5. So this is going to equal 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5, right? Which is 12 plus 15, which equals 27. Okay, so let's try some examples of that. We have 4a squared over b times the quantity b to the negative 2 times a cubed, I'm sorry, a to the fourth minus 3ba over a squared. So, let's distribute this. We're going to multiply this one first. And remember when we're multiplying fractions, we just multiply across. So we have 4a squared times b to the negative 2 over b times a to the fourth minus, don't lose your negative, 4 times 3 is 12, a squared times a is a cubed, and there's still a b there, b times a squared is a squared b. Okay, now we can do a lot of simplifying. Um, So a squared, we can cancel out this a squared and this becomes an a squared on the bottom. There's a b here and a b to the negative 2 here. If we bring that down, that'll be b squared, so this will be b cubed. So this will be 4 over b cubed a squared. Okay, minus 12, all right, the a's here cancel, the a squared is gone, and there's just an a to the first on the top, and our b's cancel entirely. So we're just going to have 12a. And once again, for now, we're just going to leave it in this form. In another lesson or two, we'll be doing common denominators, and you'll have to simplify it again. But for right now, we're just practicing the distributive property, so you can leave it in that form. Okay, let's try another one. We have a to the negative 3 times b to the 0 over c times a squared bc over c squared minus 3a to the negative 2 over b to the negative 2. Okay, first of all, b to the 0 is 1. We can cancel that. Start out with that all the time. If there's a 0, b, anything to a 0, it's a 1. Get rid of it before it complicates things. All right, let's start multiplying through. So first we're going to multiply times this one. So we have a b to the negative third, I mean a to the negative third and a squared, so that's going to be a to the negative one, times b times c over, we have c times, and c squared, c times c squared is c cubed, minus, don't lose your minus, Okay, we have a to the negative 3 and 3a to the negative 2. So the 3 stays there, and we have a, and we're going to add these, so it'll be negative 5. Over c stays there, and we've got b to the negative 2 that stays there. Okay, let's make all the exponents positive and cancel if we can. The c, we can pull this c out of here and make this c squared. This a can come down, and these two can slip, switch places. Okay? So we'll end up with b over a c squared minus 3 b squared over uh, a to the fifth c. Okay? 
Once again, just for this lesson, we're going to leave this in this form. Alright, the solutions of equations. We've been playing with just terms. Now we're going to move back to equations. The addition rule for equations. The same quantity can be added to both sides of an equation without changing the solution set of the equation. We have x plus 4 equals 3. If we multiply 4 from both sides, then x equals negative 1. If we only multiply, added it to one side or the other, then we would be changing the value of the problem. If we add it to both sides, we are not changing the value of the problem. If we have 2 plus 3 equals 5, and we add 1 to one side, and now we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 5, that changed the value, because now one side actually, 1 plus 2 plus 3 actually equals 6. But if we do 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 5 plus 1, then we've added the 1 to both sides, and now it's the true statement again. So you need to make sure you add it to both sides. The multiplication and division rule for equations. We can divide the same number from both sides, or multiply. Every term on both sides of an equation can be multiplied or divided by the same non-zero quantity without changing the solution set of the equation. So, let's solve for x with this problem. First, we're going to add 2 to both sides. 3x equals 12. And now we can divide 3 from both sides. So x equals 4. Okay, that's how both of those rules work out. In Algebra 1, we learned five steps for solving simple equations. Number 1, we eliminate the parentheses. Number 2, add like terms on both sides of the equation. Number 3, eliminate the variables on one side. Number four, eliminate the constant term on the side with the variable. And number five, eliminate the coefficient of the variable. Okay, so let's try that with this problem. Step one, we're going to eliminate the parentheses. So we have two minus the quantity two x plus five equals negative two plus the quantity x minus three. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this without the parentheses. So we have 12. This minus has to be distributed. This is just like negative 1 times this quantity. So we have to distribute the negative. So minus 2x minus 5 equals negative 2. Here we have a positive. We still have to distribute it, but it's just like multiplying times 1. So. It's just going to be plus x minus 3 because this already had a negative. So don't lose that negative, but we don't have to change that negative because this was a positive. Okay, add like terms on both sides. So on this side, the like terms are the 12 and the negative 5 that do not have a variable. So we have negative 2x plus 12 minus 5 equals x minus 2 minus 3. Okay, we have all of our like terms together, and now we're going to add them. So we have negative 2x plus 12 minus 5 equals 7 equals x minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. Okay, eliminate the variable on one side. So we can either subtract x from both sides, or we can add 2x to both sides. Let's add 2x. It doesn't matter which way we do it, as long as we have the variables on one side. Okay, now we have 7 equals 3x minus 5. Now it says eliminate, not eliminate, Eliminate the constant term on the side with the variable. Here's the side with the variable. We need to get rid of this 5. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. And we have 12 equals 3x. 
eliminate the coefficient of the variable. That's this 3. So we're going to get rid of this 3 and x equals 4. Okie doke. Let us try another one. Solve 3 times the quantity 5 6 minus 5 thirds x equals negative quantity negative 1 half plus x. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the parentheses. And over here we're going to be distributing. So we have 3 times 5 6 minus, don't lose that minus, minus 3 times 5 thirds x. And that's going to equal, here we have a negative. We're going to distribute the negative. It's just like distributing a negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 half equals positive 1 half. Negative 1 times positive x is negative x. Okay? Now we're going to simplify. Uh, 3 times 5, 6, we can cancel out the 3 and change that to a 2. So we have 5 halves minus, in this case, the 3's cancel, and we're left with 5x equals 1 half minus x. Okay, so that took care of all of our like, like terms. Now we're going to eliminate the variable on one side. So, uh, once again, it really doesn't matter how you do this. We'll add the 5x. That'll make things positive. I always like things to be positive. Not that it really matters. Alright, plus 4x is what we have left. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the constant that's on the side with the variable. In this case, that's 1 half. So we're going to subtract 1 half from both sides. Okay, those cancel and we get 4x equals 4 halves. 4 halves is the same as 2. Okay, and now we're going to get rid of the coefficient. So we're going to divide both of these by 4 and x equals 1 half. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. Okay. Change sides, change signs. A fancy word for this is transposition. When we move a term from one side of an equation to the other by adding the opposite of the term to both sides of an equation, this process is called transposition. For some people, it's easier to remember that when a term changes sides by addition, the term also changes signs. So we're just going to practice that. If we have y plus 2x equals 4, and we move this, we want to move this 2x to this side, we are going to subtract it from both sides. And in essence, that's just going to move this term over here, but with the opposite sign. Okay? Let's try it with this one. We're going to move this term to this side and we're going to do it by changing the sign. Okay. Let's try this. Solve for x. x minus 2 equals 7. So we're going to move this negative 2, we're going to add 2 to both sides, which is going to change this sign. Okay, now we're going to solve for p. p minus 3x plus 4 equals 7y. To solve for p, we're going to get all of these guys over here, which is going to change their signs. So instead of negative 3x plus 4, we're going to have positive 3x minus 4 on the other side of the equal sign. See, that cancels both of these out, but then we have to add them to this side also. 
So P equals 7Y plus 3X minus 4. One more. Solve for y. 3y minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So we're going to solve for y. We're going to add 2x minus 5 to both sides. Okay, these are both going to cancel. We'll have 3y equals positive 2x minus 5. Now to solve for y, we also need to divide all of the terms by 3. So y equals 2 thirds x minus 5 thirds. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Try your practice problems, do your homework, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.